Well, we're bringing them up to the front of the shop. Maybe we can put this thing to work. Well, I found something on this processor that I don't like. So these, all these hoses that go back to the machine here. All these, they go through this bulkhead. And this hose, you can see it's just about worn through that fitting. There's supposed to be some kind of a shoulder here and then this boss or bulkhead fitting I should say um yeah I gotta build something to keep this it's just about wore through and the other one on the other side is just about as bad these are loose not good now yeah, guess what I'm up to this morning no it's not buying any equipment it's worse than that it's buying parts no not buying Mountain Dew. It's a computer for a processor. Actually, I shouldn't say I'm buying it yet. We'll wait and see on that. We wait till Spiff's not here, then we get the good pizza. Found an old scale slip in the shop here. Back when Potlatch still owned the place in Grand Rapids. January 28th of 91, 9.30 in the morning. Belford Olson was the trucker, huh? Huh, pretty cool. We tried to get the processor out in the woods, put her to work, but we ran into an issue. Everything from there down is controlled by the computer, and the computer went dead yesterday. So I ran to Nor not oh, Nortrax anymore, it's McCoy. Borrowed their computer, brought it up, plugged it in. Still not working. Something else is wrong. Well, we check the fuses in the back by the by the pumps. They're all good. So Dean's got the dash tore apart, if that's what you want to call it, the dash, and he's going through all the fuses again, trying to figure out why that computer, actually that's the new one, why it won't turn on to run the head. That's a ground issue, Dean. Good, me. Ground should be on. Uh, the center should be ground. Okay. And number one in position, like number two o'clock position or whatever. Okay. Should be ground. Spiff's going to be mad at me. <laughs> he put the ATF on these different shelves, and I don't want them here. I want them over there somewhere, so I want to rearrange everything he did. He's going to be mad. Uh-oh, now they got the other door open looking at wires over here. That's us. What's that? Is it a B? It might be a B. <laughs> well, it's the end of the day, and I might as well give a progress report. It's rained on and off all day, but... So this is the computer. That computer right there. There's the keyboard. So the computer actually controls everything that happens out there on the head. The... You know, the open and the close, the feed rollers, the saw, so, you know, stand the head up, uh, you know, all the measuring, diameter, all that stuff, it, it comes out on the screen here. You can, let's see, you know, you can run the boom, you can activate the boom, so you can actually run the machine. We did have another issue this morning, this left joystick was dead, which uh, controls the jib boom, you know, the squirt boom. And uh, the swing. And all these buttons are controlled by the computer. Except for that. That's your forward and back. And your boom tilt. But. We, we didn't. 
we didn't figure it out and I should say mostly Dean was the one working on it I didn't help too much but this is what we're fighting and sounds like John Deere is going to send up a mechanic tomorrow maybe he can figure it out we're just not having any luck it's really disappointing that we try, try, finally tried to send it out finally tried to send it out to work and <laughs> we hit a hiccup and you saw me pick up another one of these this morning yeah that little thing is ten thousand dollars and we've replaced it a couple of times so I don't want to buy another one unless we have to we did put the new one in we tried it it didn't work it didn't it didn't help the situation so something else is going on which might not be a bad thing I'd rather find a simpler problem than than that again so anyway hope everybody had a great day thanks for watching